Welcome back! I must build this time around that hero has been banned out in the first phase, so... No, should be interesting to see how this one develops here. I play have to play very defensively, but yeah, this, this position is not something that you see every day. And now, if it goes in, Rubik has to have skilled up. Not the best skill necessarily, but helpful in this particular situation. Let's have a little bit of extra control. So if it will go down, plus two for chemo. Thanks. A lot of work, forcing up the self. But now, the Q available here. That dash, very, very powerful. Good nuke. Uh, you just saw how it helped them secure yet another kill here. Now tag team, all oh, speaking of powerful. <laughs> they just walk up and kill him. Effort kinda low, yaha. Yeah, Almost level two, if they could just kill a creep, but no, things low enough, and he's just gonna get run down. Another slow coming in, but slow enough. Ifrit actually turning things around and goes a little bit too deep. It's not necessarily going too easy. So sometimes in these situations, you can see his mid corps just uh, skip the extra points in Q Kimo. Wrong place, wrong time. <laughs> Azura will secure that kill with banishment. Oh, especially if he's low, like he can just look deep down as up top. Attack team is out, can't really make too much use of it. They don't actually right click, but no snowball over the Ava. Another anchor special walk here, turns this around on Ifrit, trying to at least, but another fate bolt in a second, then get the kill. And Visery unable to trade, even though Ava is low, but hey, not gonna come in very handy. Midas is going on Sven and up top, oh, they might find Visery, there's no snowball, nice little shards actually blocking things out a little bit, but Ava. Slightly faster, fast enough for another Q. And the, okay, he just pops the rabbit. Why the hell not? Didn't want to get him prison by the OD, I guess. But now he's in a bit of trouble. If it just goes straight for the old. Either it's quite down, Azura. So far, so good. But we can get Lawless at the same uh, exchange. Q comes out. He's going to take continuous damage from that. Yeah, stolen. Whirling down. That's one way to deal with him. Back, back. Sonic Wave just to ensure the kill. For the Kaya. Well, there's a bit of a timing with effects of creation where maybe take advantage of that attack. Like, Kimo just <laughs> gets the hammer drops top of that. So. <laughs> whirling death on whirling death. We'll see advantage here. Well, it looks like Simsaw for the time being. Ah, uh, there's another loop back. The Timber Chain off will do the trick, but hey, it costs him a lot of time. They're trying to bring him down now. There's a good amount of stacks here, but with the ultimate from Sven and also the help from Kimo. And the dagger. Blue time. Looks like a 3 for 1 here, but yeah. He wants to fight a little bit. His Ravage comes through. Yeah, he's alive, stealing the shots. You can lock people in. If it falsified Eva right now, is, uh, they're gonna find one. Banishment over. Oh, I believe Kimo. Rosie comes in, but now the stun onto Azura. He did not realize that everyone's gonna come into play. Drops the hammer and gets that, uh, that kill that we're working on. That's a double kill for him, but hey, what cost? Better not let him right click, I guess. That's uh, the best way to put it. Oh, he's got Sunny Wave. They're not even done yet, though. The snowball save, and now. Back to, bring it back to Rosie. The gold silence. Just make sure that there's no follow up uh, imprisonment or anything. He is happy. Goes in, and they have enough control. Double kill. To finish off the Queen of Pain. No blink. The only one really showing. I think Eva, he was in vision for a moment. No, actually, I don't know, maybe not. Timisar going in, the Snowball Azura also saying, oh, the Ravage comes out, catches two, Kimo there. In the middle of that, with a bit of follow-up damage. Timisar very low, but not low enough. He's still alive. It's going deep, Kimo. I'm not sure if he can finish him off. Maybe with uh, a spirit vessel, but it's not enough damage, is it? No. Just sleeping out. Eva still hanging around here. Uh, did he cancel his TP? Was it cancelled by someone else? I have no idea. Either way, they track him down inside the trees. Uh, this time that but that did not work out at all. PG back smoked out. In the jungle. Miss Vis Visery though. In really good position. Didn't know that he's there though. Well, will find eventually. So what do the latest here? Ifrit with the BKB. Happy. No silence will prevent the black hole for now. Meanwhile, a couple of stuns here. Double stun actually in Kazura. Being caught in the middle of that. So he goes down first. Ravage controlling up Ifrit here during his ultimate. He is still alive, but he can't really life steal, so he is down for the count. On to the next one. Now let's get the timber chain out. That's execration. Continuing to try and build a bit of a uh, little bit of momentum here. He just died immediately, and hey. Wrapped around on, yeah. Oh, blink across to the other side. Doesn't it ravage though? 
Uh, gets a TP out, but this Tide Hunter will be the Tide Hunted. Something happened with that. I mean, no Ravage. Misty buys back, TP's in, and just goes to your face. He goes to your face, misery. Yeah, I got a splash of him relatively quickly. Still gets Snowball out to the latest a little bit, but now the BKB OD still gets stunned! Burst down! Double kill. What? B if both sides have everything available, but... Ravage, really, really good. Find inside the pit. Black hole, potentially, but that is there. Instant. Oh, nice little reflected stun here. Catching Rosie, catching Palos, but now Global Science. Plus the blink away. There was no route to hold her in place, so Execration still get out. Well, I'm starting things around. It was already the ult there from Ifrit. But, well, all this in front. Palos, way to go in. There's the stun. But, uh, reflected too. This time, the Sun Grave comes through. Chemo still living as Palos. Clicking through one after the other. Timosaur's already dead. If it in the middle of that. And now turn things around actually. Almost lives, but not quite. Azura at least able to make the trade, but Rose LFT. He rose with the black hole. Hoppy, he was waiting the whole game for this play. But he was unable to actually get any kills with that. Yeah, with a stone back hole. Turning this right around. What a disaster. They did get Rose in the end. I have a lot of defensive utility. We've seen a Lotus Orb come to play very nicely against the Storm Hammer. And there we go to find Chemo. Should be a very easy one to bring down. No I defensive utility whatsoever after the four staff. Now, even that's a little bit harder to bring down. So it's a Kraken Shell to worry about. Banishment. Holding in place a little bit longer. Ready for another go from Timber So, yeah, it looks like they don't even care about the Kraken Shell. Just burst them down regardless. I didn't really get anything out of that buyback from the Titan just yet, so... I really want to, though. Look at them. They're just charging down mid with the Timber Chain. They're actually gonna lift up the OD, but uh, BKB is available. There's the Hex actually coming through from Rose Rabbit, catching Azura. He was not ready for that at all. The damage is real. Not just... Rose Rabbit can really hold this themselves. Lift to the lay. Initiation here, Hex going through, and Nick Mouse, Sonic Wave hits a couple of people, but not really doing too much damage anymore. But Global Science, good one here. Zoro though with the BKB turning things around onto Yaha. Bybex, number three coming through. If we're in the middle of all this, we'll still lose the Aegis to Chemo of all people. Meanwhile, nice little shards here to block off that escape off Avis. Trying to TP out of Zoro is there in time though, so it'll be the third kill. Two supports, one off laner. Look down, exchange for three buybacks though, one of them on Azura. Big important core. I mean, they need a. It's not a DD rule at all. Yeah, don't think they can actually fight into this. So, we're just gonna trade. Palos is gonna have another God Strength in a little while. Yeah, only able to trade tier 3 for the full set of racks though. So you obviously get it for man fighting in melee mode, but sometimes you still get the range bash. I mean, it's a uh, 10% chance rather than 25, but still in something now to hack the fear. Certainly no way to bust down. Yeah, actually going in, and that's the imprisonment stolen. If it pops the PKB, pops the ultimate here, and that's the bash rolls. Pops the PKB, but there's a black hole cancelled, but a little bit too late. Now the refresher, Hoppy, still there, ready to go. Palos eats the cheese, and the front lines here, they said you have to do some actual heal damage, though. Kimo with his own PKB, sound racking away. Troll Warlord is actually gonna fall to that. Now Hoppy with a second black hole, catching two more, including Ava. They're punching him to death. Sansa also got in the middle of that, but now Palos starting to cut through. That's one, that's two. Rolls actually with a double kill in the back. This fear coming in big. Very, very big indeed. But now Palos actually super freaking low. This timber saw damage still forced to be reckoned with, but Rose not done just yet. There was a dieback and Ifrit involved. Bunch of other stuff here. Another blink, another hex, and a couple right clicks here onto the task. Oh, people really ticked out. No, he will not. There was no that damage over time. Not exactly fast from the Shadow Strike, but hey, buybacks from both sides. Sven also coming right back into this. No God Strength, so no ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, that's a long time chain. He's got that talent for it. So literally here, Hex can X just to make sure that he cannot make shenanigans happen here. The self fuels into the stun back and forth. And, well, goes so much. That's something way wasted. But hey, low cooldown, whatever. It's a five the front the saw, but hey, that's the Rex going down. Just, uh, <laughs> the talent looks so weird. It takes forever, but you can press anywhere and you. Gonna get a timid chain out, uh, visiting. Yeah, it's, it's very hard for a task to have an impact at this point. Yeah, still keeping himself alive as long as possible. Gets a punch out. They're almost going, ah, but almost. 
Not mean you actually do it. So now, right now, only one available to defend the space is Lawless, and this Tusk also wants to buy back. It's 15 until OD is available, but they will have lost the entire Rax before that happens. So, Wall Hex to firm us around here, Tusk. Might be another die back here, but more and more people coming in. Powers just decides to be KB to be out. Good call saying how oh, he doesn't have Bobby either. Nobody helped. Pushed his wave out. Just a little bit of extra speed. Means that Execration doesn't have a lot of time to do what they want to do, which is somehow win a team fight. And the dies out of the base and go straight for the throne. Like leak away. Auto tracks in the snowball here. Turn around. We'll let it go though, so it'll bring him outside of the base for just a moment, but. Three's dead. Black hole catches three though. Happy with the big plays. He can't cancel the hammer's drop. And now the global science though afterwards coming around. Happy with another black hole. How does it get so many of these? Tide Hunter in the middle of this. So many right clicks though for not just Kima but also Palos. And hey, there's another black hole catching Azura. This one was from the Aha. And it serves to end the game in style. GG is called. As execration. Take game number one. Dire team pick. Phantom oh, okay. Assassin. I do not expect that one. Magic burst always nice against PA2. Doesn't have the highest health pool, so he's going to need a BKP very quickly, I think. Once again, uh, looking for the wraparound to play here. Stun ready to go. And with a follow-up fissure, the goal feed will also prox Emberspur. Oh. Go I'm down for Oh no. On top, Eva. Okay. Looks like he might die here in a drunken brawler. Oh. Go again. Beautiful fissure block. No illusions to go with. Yes. So, uh, once that comes online, things might look a little bit up here. Skew actually bringing Sven with him. Not the best thing in the world here because he can try and chase him down with the cleave. Should be enough. To kill them off, regardless here. Yeah, it's like the illusions, misery. Killing spree. Trying to help, but now what? it's just feeding this is away. Thanks for out. Going, oh, dude. Happy was there a little bit early, able to cancel that one. Kimo has to walk it off a little bit. I think Happy can just slap him down. Oh, maybe not. Infused raindrops. Keeping it safe now. <laughs> not safe. It's actually Ifrit up top, and the last couple of weeks. And just supercharge, not just his, his money, but also the levels. Or whoever needs it and now the rotation in the coil catches Azura. Defensive disruption though, buying some time, but that's was right on top of it here with the follow-up stun. The fissure also perfectly timed. And he buys back, he is still done with this game. Ifrit coming through and will able to finish up Palos. Now Kimo also in dire straits. He's gonna fall. Yaha also going for a low D. Ifrit with a double kill. One, two, three down. In total. Radiant structures are fortified. Stun, Blink Echo. Everything we dropped on the atmosphere. Cole still had to use. And some fermenting out of it. Yeah, that's, that's a Blink Reveal. Nice 5x combo. Seems pretty good. Mule mid, though, Kimo. They counter. Out on Ifrit here. Does have another jump over to the other side. If Rose could chase, but that would be very dangerous indeed. Especially without the call. So, for now, we go for the Fissure. Defensive disruption here. Can still skewer after that, I think. But for now, he's just gonna RP and skewer. Still will fall and Ifrit not hanging around. He does not want to actually be part of it, but we both these supports will also be run down and killed sooner or later. Focus down here, Kimo. Well, it reveals that he has friends and Azura. He is dead. Coil again, just just to make sure. Don't see anyone on the map. So that's why he was in good position. Ifrit now going in on the other illusion. The real Rose comes in. Cuts the coil on both supports. Happy in a bit of trouble. And so is Visery. Gets a few spells out. Even a slow one, Palos. The immediate buyback there from Happy, too. He don't want to turn this into a trade. But Execration is already on the way out. They need a chase. Ifrit is doing just that. It's done. It can be not coming through. Ifrit doing a bit of extra damage. Trying to get Snoop down. The lift from Happy. With the ether lens, he had the range of all the primers, but it could come out. So, this is the time. All in this general area, I'm sure they're gonna check. Nice. 
And then I'll see Lazy coming out there. It's Ice Mask coming in. If it already with the BKB. Sound the crit on the Sven here. Pops his own BKB and the ultimate. But very well low. Not low enough. They don't feel comfortable fighting. So instead, Ember does find the remnant out this time. A lot of stuff committed here. Oh, the RP missing. Sven turned this around. Still ties to Azora here with the Maelstrom Prog. One for one, uh, two for one trade. Kimo also ended up dying at one point or another. It's now Eva. Focusing on the supports. Misery on the one side, Happy on the other. Still standing though. Echo Slam has to come out and he gets it. Also on the Phantom Assassin. Stole and Echo Slam turns around. Ifrit is still standing. Echo uh, Hairshaker buying back into this. But it is. PG Barracks certainly have the huge advantage here. Even without his ultimate car with the shards. Massive buybacks now from Execration. They don't want to let this one go. Because they know that if they lose this fight for real, then Roshan is the prize. They're gonna bring down Earth. It's a lot of EU damage here, and they need to get rid of this Embers burn. Azura redeeming himself, the skewer forward, no more RP or anything, but another slide of fist to secure the kill on Mark Kimo. Also falling, Yaha next on list. Zifford returns with a double kill. Now it's only Paolo's way, it's Sven <laughs> running all the way back. Well, another game in favor, Barracks. They've shown their force, they've shown their strength. <laughs> just get another free kill in mid. Oh. Not good, not good at all. <laughs> For execration at least. Palos going down now. Yep. He bought back in that fight too, so... <laughs> Three battles on the die side and cool down. Find another! What the hell is happening right now? Barracks! Yeah. Seven minutes in. <laughs> Execration, they kind of had a handle on this one, they had this. Not in the size of lead, not by any means. He's even trash talking. <laughs> uh, not sure if he's allowed to do that yet. Especially now if he gets caught out right here. Yeah, yeah. He's getting it right back, that's Kama. Buying back into this though, with the RP, catching a few. Wifford, right in the middle, one to the next, double kill. For the PA, BKB protecting her now. The bash is over on the Sven. Palos, nothing to do against this. Just gets crit and cleave to death. Triple kill. For the big ol' PA. GG is called. They don't want to play this game anymore. They know. There's no way out. Yeah, PG Barracks.